hi friends my name is precious and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make cameroonian fish stew i'm so excited because i love stew stew and rice is so popular in west africa there are various kinds of tomato based stews and today i'm going to be showing you this version made with fish it is so delicious let me show you guys the ingredients we need for cameroonian fish stew you need two medium firm fish. I'm using a fish here that is called round scad, but typically mackerel will be used and you can use any fish you have on hand. You also need Roma tomatoes, some onions, garlic, ginger, basil, oil, salt, white pepper, seasoning cubes, Okay friends, I lost the portion of the video in which I was cleaning the fish, reason why I'm not showing you guys that action. But you just want to make sure that you remove all the scales, trim all the things, cut the fish into sticks, I discarded the head but you could keep the head if you want. Then you clean out the entrails of the fish and rinse it thoroughly under running water. Reserve one sprig of basil, then go ahead and blend together the garlic, ginger and the remaining basil. Mmm, that smells so good. So I'm going to add a tablespoon of this flavorful goodness onto the fish. My fish was drained and I took it out of the colander so I've added a tablespoon of that green goodness and I'm adding now a teaspoon of oil then I'm going to add in some salt I'm just going to mix it really really gently with my hands to ensure that that seasoning coats all of the fish now I'm going to be baking this fish or grilling this fish in the oven <laughs> typically it's going to be fried you know, or some people just add their fish as it is to their stew, but I always like to um, fry it or um, put it in the oven just so that it firms it up so it's not just falling apart in the stew. So I'm going to put this fish right into the oven. Okay, I have a baking sheet here that I have lined with foil, and I'm going to add some oil to the baking sheet. I'll just use my hands because I'm going to dirty this hands in a way and just rub that oil all around. This ensures that the fish doesn't stick to the baking sheet. And lining the baking sheet with foil really, really makes for easy cleaning because you just have to take off the foil and just do a light wash on the tray. So I'm going to add the fish. I have my oven. Um, preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and that's 200 degrees, degrees Celsius if that's what you're using but you could just fry this fish if you like okay guys I'm going to take those tomatoes and I'm going to blend them so I'm just going to cut them chop them really roughly So I'm just going to blend these into not a very fine paste because I like my stew with a bit of texture. So. That's it. I'm still waiting for my oven to preheat so I can put on the fish. While that is preheating, I'm going to go ahead and start with our stew. So all of that oil goes into the pot and I'm going to let that heat up then we can saute the tomato saute the onions not the tomatoes <laughs> our oil has heated up on high for about three minutes i'm just going to add in the onion and i'll just let that cook until the onion soften our oven is preheated so i'm just going to put in the fish so our onions have softened and it, they already smell so good. They already smell so good in here. Just adding in those tomatoes. I'm going to let that cook until the tomato shrinks and starts sticking to the bottom of the pot. That's how you know that your tomatoes are ready. So 
So this is how our tomatoes look after about 10 minutes. They are not quite there yet, so we are going to leave them cook again. Our fish has been in there for about 17 minutes, so I'm just going to get it out. Okay guys, I'm going to add our spice blend from earlier. Let's just shake that. I'm going to also rinse this. This is going to add so much flavor to the stew. Stir that in oil so that the flavors can bloom. So I'm also adding about half a cup of water to that. And I'm just going to shake to get out all that goodness. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> yeah. I'm adding a little bit more water because it's going to cook down and it's going to be thick. So I'm adding more water that can evaporate. So we are just left with that good tomato stew. I'm just adding one habanero pepper because I love pepper. It's going to cook in there, but it's not going to make the whole stew hot. So my kids will be able to eat this and I'll be able to press this pepper onto my plate of food. I'm adding a little bit more water. At this point, I've added about a cup and a half of water because it was really looking thick. So, okay, that is looking good because it's going to cook down. It's going to be thick. I'm going to scatter in the maggi. I'm only going to use two because our tomatoes really shrunk and that's not looking like a really big pot of stew. So I'm going to use two and see how that tastes before I add more if needed. Same thing for the salt. I'm only going to use, put in about half a teaspoon. The white pepper is non-negotiable. I'm going to put in everything. <laughs> so I'm going to add the fish to the stew. Then they can get married. Once the fish is in, you really want to be careful with your stirring. Just, you see, I'm just like gently moving it around, just making sure that the tomatoes are not sticking to the bottom of the pot, like so. Now I'm going to give it a taste. Mmm, that is good. Okay, it actually needs that extra maggi. So. So again, don't go ahead tearing a fish stew like this. <laughs> it's going to break and it's going to be a mess. So that's why the fish is the last thing, always the last thing to join the pot. Just very gently move it around. Now I know this looks like a lot of oil and it is a lot of oil. Truth is, a lot of meals in Cameroon, sometimes the oil could go overboard and that's totally normal. So I get a lot of questions, people asking me, wow, why did you put so much oil, like for beans, for stews like this? We want to see the oil, but if you want, at this point, you could just go ahead and reduce the oil, skim out some of that oil and use it in another meal. This will be good in some jello fries. Okay guys, I decided to go ahead and take out some of that oil. Now you might wonder what's the point of cooking with so much oil then skimming it out. It's because you need enough oil to really cook down those tomatoes. If the oil is not enough, it's not going to give us the texture of tomatoes that we are looking for. Okay, so this is the basil that I reserved. I'm just going to chop this and I'm going to sprinkle it over our stew, our tomato fish stew.
this is going to make the stew taste so good cod manjo or basil and fish they, they are a match made in heaven they go so well together hmm how beautiful does that look is ready I boiled some rice I didn't mess up this time I went ahead and I cooked some rice because I mean and I also made some plantains because if you have ripe plantains at home and you make stew and rice and you don't fry some plantains what are you even doing with your life you're wasting your life <laughs> so I had to fry some plantains I cannot wait to dig in my babies in the background <laughs> okay so I have my rice here and I have some lettuce because my mom says that it's important to eat your meals with some let with some something fresh always have something fresh with your meal if your meal is not a fresh meal so sometimes it's just as simple as just cut up lettuce because i like the taste so and i also have some avocado my husband actually cut up this avocado we like our rice with avocado okay let the party begin <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to grab some of that stew first. Oh man, that looks so good. And the tomatoes are, you know, they are visible. It's not just like a one blob of tomato paste, which I like with fish stew. I really like that. I feel like that texture with a stew like this made just with fresh tomatoes, that a bit of texture is really, really good. So. Oh man, my mouth is watering. Now I'm going to show you why I put that pepper because I like to press in a little bit of pepper into my food. There, get some of those plantains. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. That basil really really comes through the seasoning is perfect oh my god get some of that fish the tomato the tomatoes don't taste sour at all they are just like just have a nice sweetness to them and that's because we really took time to cook them down and they were also very ripe so be sure you use really really ripe tomatoes so they are not sour getting some of that fish mm, so flavorful I'm going to press some some pepper because i like it spicy mm. just tastes like home So guys I just wanted to share this with you guys if you've watched to this point thank you for watching so while I was making or preparing to make this video I just thought of how when I was really young my younger brother and I we lived to my grandparents at the time and we would go to the farm almost every day to go carry maybe crops that my grandma had um, cut like to maybe cut a bunch of banana and keep in the farm for us to go carry and take home and this was walking miles and miles to the farm to go get this food and bring back home and we were so hungry in this season of our lives because we did not have a lot, a lot of food but one thing that happened was my uncle rented a house on the way to the farm so when we will be coming back from the farm my younger brother and i will stop at my uncle's house solely to eat just to eat and his wife totally understood once we got into the house she will put food for us and when we eat we will leave why am i telling you the story after making fish stew it's because one day my younger brother and i went there and his wife was saying how they were tired of making so much fish stew because Mackerel fish in Cameroon is really cheap or it used to be really cheap. I don't know how <laughs> How cheap it is now and It was like very accessible very easy to just buy some as opposed to meat or chicken which were more expensive You know, it was very easy to make a fish stew. It's like a really cheap meal. So she was like she's tired of 
Morocco fish stew because we call mackerel locally Morocco fish. She was like, we don't have a cook Morocco fish stew for the house. We don't tire. Every day in a Morocco fish. And my younger brother and I, we were so shocked because of the hunger in which we were. We were like, how can somebody be tired of fish? I mean, we went back home, we're talking about it and it's just because we did not have so much to eat at the time. So we went back and we're just talking about it. Like, how can someone be tired of fish stew? And I was reflecting over this just so remember that you know life is in seasons and that season was a season of hunger for us and I'm so grateful that right now I have food I have ingredients I can take I can cook I can make videos for you guys so I'm so grateful for that so friends that is how you make Cameroonian fish stew or a tomato based African fish stew I really hope this video inspired you to go into your kitchen and make some delicious hearty stew if you liked the video please give me a thumbs up click on the like button that really helps and also if you've not yet subscribed to my youtube channel consider subscribing and when you subscribe click on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post a new video for the full recipe go to my blog preciouscore.com Thank you guys so much for spending time with me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.